What's up guys, my name is Robbie, and welcome to a new series I'm going to be starting up today. It is going to be a series where I teach you guys how to use the program Adobe Photoshop. So this will be how to use Photoshop episode 1 and today I'm going to show you guys how to save your images with the best quality. It doesn't matter if it's a background, wallpaper, logo, what it is. So it, obviously <clears throat> you guys don't have to follow this. You guys can come up with your own way too, but this is how I do my way so we'll I guess we'll just open up a background PSD that I've done so we'll open up um, this old Darth background I made pretty nice made this a while back so it's not the newest thing but it's quite good I think Anyways, so you have all your layers right here after you've created your background. Uh, now, obviously, since I'm on Mac, it doesn't have a difference. PC, Mac, Photoshop is still the same either computer. It doesn't matter. So this is how I save my images in the best quality. Go to File, Save for Web. Make sure transparency is on check convert to rs srgb my, my bad and uh have the preview on monitor color copyright and contact info and whatever you guys set your width and height as your dimensions for your image and make sure your percent is on 100 for the best quality so and this you can change i have mine as this one you can change it if you want, it, I says it's up to you guys, but this is how I do it. Uh, just keep your matter, don't even matter about that. Um, and then change this if you want a GIF. It depends on what you're working with, it depends on what you want it for. So, if a YouTube background, do PNG24 for the highest quality. Uh, for some reason, you want to do a JPEG, then you can turn the quality down to decrease the size. The size is right here. So, the YouTube background quality is one megabyte, so that might uh, interfere with some. And then for JPEG, keep this on optimized, keep blur on zero, unless you want to bump it up. It's all up to you guys. <clears throat> Another thing that you can do is PNG8. PNG8 sort of kind of good, but you get pixelated particles in there, and it's not good. Uh, WBMP, I've never tried this. I don't think it's that good, though. And then GIF is, of course, for uh, moving objects and stuff like that. So it's all up to you guys. But PNG24 is obviously my preference for saving anything. Um, obviously, this background is not over one megabyte, so it can be used on YouTube. And then just hit save and choose where you want to save it to. But I have already have it saved, so I'm not going to save it. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like and maybe a favorite and a comment down below. And uh, see you guys later. Peace out.